Hey, what is up everybody? And welcome back to the Holy Smokes Barbecue Channel. Listen, it's the fall season. It's cool outdoors. You might be enjoying like a bonfire or something with friends. And with any outdoor fire comes what snack? I'll give you a second. S'mores, that's right, s'mores. But sometimes, you know, we might want to think about s'mores a little bit differently. Maybe we want to make them indoors and we don't really have like a fire to do that. Or maybe you got a smoker and you want to think about how you can do s'mores on the smoker. Well, today we're going to do that and we're going to make this delicious smoked s'mores dip. It's going to be incredible. You're going to be the talk of the town if you make this smoked s'mores dip. We're making this delicious dip today on my Pit Boss Platinum Series Lockhart, which just makes everything better. So with that, let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and build this delicious s'mores dip. So I'm gonna to start today with putting some peanut butter here in my pan. And we're just gonna sort of spread that around the bottom. This is where the measurements kind of go out the window, folks. Put as much or as little as you like. But this dip is gonna be sort of layered. So it's gonna be one thing on top of another thing on top of another thing. So you can make your layers as thick or as thin as you like. All right, that feels about right. All right, with my layer of peanut butter down, my next ingredient, milk chocolate chips. I'm just gonna open these up, just kind of pour them right in, just like that. Nice little layer. Beautiful. Now, you know, there is one critical component that really makes a s'more a s'more, and that is marshmallows. Now, at this point, we could just take some jumbo marshmallows, kind of place them all nicer on the top, and instead, because I want this to really be a, a really great kind of dip for, well, dipping, we're actually gonna use marshmallow fluff. And this is gonna be obviously more spreadable and it's gonna allow us to really be able to get that really good dip at the end. Same kind of thing, we're just adding it to the top here. It's very sticky. You just gotta sorta go with it. Embrace the mess, because what is messy now is gonna be delicious later. All right, not bad, right? All right, let's set this over to the side, move on to our next step. So next, I'm gonna take actually a couple of candy bars here. Yes, we are definitely taking s'mores to a whole new level. Take two candy bars just like this, and using my super sharp knife, I'm going to just kind of cut these into kind of small chunks. So I'm going to go about half of this size that I'm cutting right now. Now I'll just kind of roughly chop through them. I don't want any super giant pieces, but this is gonna give some great texture and delicious flavor to the s'mores dip. All right, that looks good. Okay, we'll slide this over here. Here comes my dip. Just gonna sort of put some of that in there, just like that. I don't really need all of it, so I think we'll stick with that. All right, at this point, that's all we're gonna do, so let's get it on the smoker. All right, I got the Pit Boss running today at 300 degrees. I'm gonna be smoking this in the lower chamber here. And it's only gonna take about 20 minutes or so at that temperature to get this nice and done. Really all I'm looking for is for it to look melted and to have a little bit of color on those marshmallows. Now the Lockhart is going to give it just a hint of that smoky flavor, which is why I'm doing it here and not maybe indoors. Also, just making stuff outdoors is better. So here we go. Into the Lockhart right there in the middle. And we'll leave it just like that for probably 15, 20 minutes. Come back out and check on it. All right, after 20 minutes, let's take a look. Oh man, does that look good. That marshmallow is puffed up nicely. Those candy bar pieces have melted onto there. I mean, it just, it looks fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and get it off. All right, friends, here we are. Oh man, let me tell you something. When I say, that this smells insane. I mean, it's just, <laughs> oh my gosh, the smell, the smell, the smell, the smell. Smell that peanut butter coming through. Oh, it's great, but not done yet. So for our finishing touches on this s'mores dip, I'm gonna add to the top just some crushed up graham crackers and I'm using cinnamon flavored. You could use just regular or honey flavored. I just happen to like cinnamon, just like that, the top. And then finally, just because, you're gonna do a drizzle of chocolate syrup and follow that up with a drizzle of caramel. And ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> there you have it. Look at that. 
Look how beautiful that is. Somebody put this in a magazine or something. Come on. All right, so let's take a look at this dip. Got a couple graham crackers here, just like any sort of dip, just gonna go right in. Oh, oh look at that. Oh my gosh. Chocolate, peanut butter, that marshmallow fluff, that drizzle. Oh, this is gonna be so good. All right, here we go. Smoke s'mores dip down the hatch. Mmm. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Mmm. Wow. I mean, it tastes like sitting around a campfire. Holy smokes. That's so good. I mean, listen. This only took 20 minutes. It took maybe, what, five minutes to put it together? It wasn't in the smoke for too long, so there's not really an overpowering flavor of smoke in there, but there is just a hint, just to make you kind of think you're out of the campfire. Listen, if I don't get this inside soon, I'm gonna have some very angry children because they're dying to try it. So make this, definitely try it. If you don't even have a smoker and you're just kind of watching these videos to think like maybe it's something that I'll try when I get a smoker, definitely try it. But you can do this now. Do it inside, do it in your oven. Follow the same kind of procedures that we did. This is really kind of your dish. You do whatever you want to with it. But hey, thank you once again for tuning in to the Holy Smokes Barbecue channel. If you like this video, make sure that you click that thumbs up, give us a like, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Turn on the post notifications, click that little bell. And if you like this video, make sure that you check out one of these other two videos of some stuff that we've done here recently on the channel, all delicious, all outside on the smoker. And I'll see you next time.